Good evening. My name is Dino Goh, reporting for the Brunei Times. We are here at the new Prime Minister's office to bring you a special update from the 22nd ASEAN Summit. The summit, which began today, saw leaders arrive at the Brunei International Airport and then a working dinner with His Majesty the Sultan and Yang Di Pertuan of Brunei Darussalam at the new Prime Minister's office. This year's summit will focus on the strengthening of ASEAN's external relations with dialogue partners through the commencement of negotiations for the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership. It will also focus on the declaration on the conduct of parties in the South China Sea, launching the first ASEAN security outlook and raise awareness of the ASEAN human rights declarations. The leaders will also look at the development of small to medium enterprises and ways to enhance the region's competitiveness. Ongoing efforts to strengthen the ASEAN market is through the formation of the ASEAN Economic Community, which aims to form a single market and production base that will transform ASEAN into a highly competitive economic region with equitable economic development and is fully integrated into the global economy. As of 31st March, ASEAN has implemented 77.54% of all ASEAN Economic Community measures. Also on the agenda this year is the ongoing efforts to build understanding and trust among youths and focus on activities that would allow youths to play a role in the community building process. The leaders are also expected to further discuss the ASEAN community, which is to be formed by 2015. The leaders first agreed to the formation of the ASEAN community during the 9th ASEAN Summit in 2003, when they signed the Declaration of ASEAN Concord II. The Association of Southeast Asian Nations was formed in 1967 by Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines, Singapore and Thailand. Brunei then joined in 1984, followed by Vietnam, Laos, Myanmar and Cambodia, completing the 10 member states of ASEAN.